For most of us, collecting water is about as complicated as walking to the fridge or turning on the sink. But if you were born in Happiness's village, you'd have to carry a five gallon container that weighs almost 45 pounds when full, nearly four miles round trip. Women, or more often children, are tasked with transporting water, which can take anywhere from six to eight hours each day. This means that many kids can't go to school or get an education, and women can't get jobs to provide for their families. Instead, they're left to collect and haul a few gallons of dirty, contaminated water. But the cost of these daily trips isn't just measured in time. The weight, the distance, the heat can all cause serious medical conditions, like spontaneous miscarriages or spinal and pelvic deformities, all a result of collecting and carrying water. Oftentimes, people are forced to collect water from contaminated streams, mud puddles, rivers, or earth dams. Drought has made it almost impossible to collect water. And as a result, people find themselves drinking water that you and I would never even step in, let alone drink. People have to rely on open, unprotected water sources shared with animals to meet their daily needs. The impact of this can be devastating. Hi, my name is Julie Canberra, and for my senior project, I am doing the Thirst Project, which I'm trying to raise $12,000 to help build a well in Africa. Project Thirst was created by seven 19-year-olds in 2008 in Southern California. They went out to have coffee, and they started talking about the water crisis. They realized that people have to go miles and miles to get dirty water. They realized that 43% of African children don't have access to clean water, and one in five will die before their fifth birthday. 1.6 million will die every year due to waterborne illnesses. By donating $25, you can give a person in Africa water for their entire life. And by donating any amount, it helps us reach our goal of $12,000. Also, spreading, the, spreading awareness about the water crisis would help a lot, too. You can donate now by writing a check out to Mashpee Middle High School and writing in the memo, Project Thirst. He says, he says it is nice to have water, because water is life. But Without water, say, there is no life. Without water, there is no life. Yeah. Because we have water, we have clean water, clean, hey, clean hey, water, hey, not hey, just water, hey, clean, clean water. water.